Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Man, you Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. You wanna come with me? You ready? Let me wash my hand. I'm getting ready to get you. Mommy been mean to you putting you in the old prison baby over there, prison. the baby prison. Say yep. <laughs> Say free me, Daddy. Free me. Come on. It's that time. All right. One, two, on. three. You ready? You ready? Come on. Come on. You ready? Huh? You ready? <laughs> Is this what you've been waiting for? Huh? Like, I'm ready. Since like the first or second week of his life, my little buddy here has been tagging along with me in the mornings, coming outside. <laughs> yes, you have. You've been tagging along with me to do <laughs> the morning chores here on the farmstead. But this morning, I'm running a little bit late, aren't I? I am. I am. Because we had to start off this morning with moving turkeys onto fresh grass into a new paddock. And we also had to move our egg-laying chickens out in the pasture onto a new paddock as well. And this little guy here, yes, this little guy here is not quite so small, are you? Tell us about it. He's like 20 pounds now. And I was like, with all that I have to do out there, I don't know if I want to carry it around. This 20 pound little monster here, right? I'm sure you'd have loved it. But we still got some other stuff to do, don't we? Yeah, we still got some other stuff to do. So let's do it. ago he started trying to figure out the crawling thing what are you doing what are you doing come here you gonna come here come on come on you can do it yep there you go look at you moving look at you moving yeah yeah, yeah. good job way to go man And now, I think he's got mastery of it because he's moving around pretty fast with crawl. He 
he's also trying to stand up on his own and looking around. I think this is my favorite baby stage because it's really neat. He's been able to say dada for a long time. That was like his first words. But now he's saying mama and he's trying to interact with us. And those smiles, oh man, it just, it's born my heart. Yes, they do. Yeah, what are you telling us about now? What are you telling them about? Yeah, yeah. With as much as he weighs now, <laughs> carrying him around like this is like having on a weighted vest <laughs> as I'm doing chores. <laughs> I get a little burn in my legs and my glutes. He's helping me develop those buttons of steel, baby. Buttons of steel. Ready to move some chickens? Ready to move some chickens, huh? Now, chickens aren't lactose intolerant, but a lot of milk is not good for them. However, a little bit can provide some benefit. So, we're gonna give them a little bit of milk in their feed here. That's good. But you, my friend, are a little milk monster, aren't you? <laughs> You've been drinking a lot of milk. I guess that's why you weigh 20 pounds. Isn't that right? But today, after we get done finishing chores, we're gonna give this little guy, this little big guy, something else besides milk for the first time. Isn't that right? You gonna have something else. You just don't know yet, do you? Then I do. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> You want some of this? You want some of this? I grew up on this stuff. Yep. Drink sodas almost like every day. My 
favorite was Seven Up Sprite. Yep. But you're not gonna have any of this junk. No. <laughs> the only thing it's good for is probably washing off your window outside and cleaning off batteries and things like that. Nope. Because no it way. Eats stuff <laughs> off of it. It's a no. Not for you. Not for you. Actually, a friend of ours, Dr. Dan, was telling us about how some people pour Coke in baby bottles to feed it to their babies, and they're like, no! So throw this out of here. He's not having any of it. But what you are going to have for your first food, squirmy wormy, is some egg yolk. Are you excited? Are you excited about this? All of our kids have started out on a real food, either bananas or avocados. But with him, I want to start him out with egg yolk. So the other day, I boiled some eggs and I have some chicken stock that I made, homemade with our chickens. Yummy. And we're gonna mix that in. What do you think? And Yummy. make some good yumminess. Here we go. And a little bit of salt too. Our Redmond Real Salt that we love. Okay, my man. <clears throat> Send it out just a little bit more. You're just mashing it up so it's yep. just like the consistency of baby food. Pureed baby Pureed food. Pureed baby food. Yeah. You want some? Huh? You ready for some? Are you ready? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Right here. Alright, let's give it a shot. Here we First go. First bite. You gonna Earth. like it? Oh, he's a little sleepy too. Oh, he was ready for that. <laughs> what do you think, man? <laughs> he's like, is it good? <laughs> he's like, I don't know. Am I supposed to have this? <laughs> You want some more? He's only ever nursed. But egg yolk is a really good first food. Uh oh. You want some more? <laughs> He's like, you've never done this to me before. I don't know if he knows quite yet. <laughs> I like to make sure it's not too salty. No. You want some more? What you think? Uh oh. He's <laughs> like <laughs> It's like he's trying a strong drink or something. <laughs> Let's not slobber it all out. A little bit more. He's got like a tangy face. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a little uh, Well. <laughs> and when, whenever you're trying them out with food for the first time, you usually want to try one food at a time to see how they respond to it. See if they like it. Just to see if they have any <laughs> type of intolerances. He's got like a... Apple cider vinegar look thing that's going. I promise it's good. You may want to nurse them. <laughs> we just did some of the broth. Oh. Oh. She wants to go back to the old faithful. But he does have a little bit of runny nose too, so that could play into things about taste and all. What are you doing? He's growling over his own territory. <laughs> he hasn't been super interested in food anyway, and it's totally fine that he's not Really, breast milk should be the majority, the vast majority of your baby's nutrition up until at least one. So, oh. <laughs> You're back. Do you feel better now? Welcome back. 
Tell me about it. Did you need a quick fix? Yeah. He said, I need a drink. Need a drink. You need to wash down that nasty stuff you're trying to give me. <laughs> oh. Need a drink. Yeah. What's it taste like? Maple syrup. It must be good. <laughs> Some of the most, one of the most important things is whenever you're starting your baby on solids, is that one, it's pureed so they don't choke. But another thing is to start with one food at a time so you can see a reaction if there is a reaction, and um, you know let them have yeah. fun with it. And you have fun with it. It doesn't have to be you make a whole separate meal for your baby than what you make for your family. I think all of our kids started out on pureed fruits and vegetables and really um, tender meat and just as you go along feed your baby what you're eating from the table um, that's what we've always done a lot of people recommend starting off with cereals and grains no. and that's like one of the worst things to start them off with no yes it is it's hard for them to digest those things yeah. their digestive system hasn't even developed enough to process those grains so starting out fruits and veggies and meats is way better for their whole digestive system. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Are you feeling better now? Whoa! Woo! Do you want to try another bite? Maybe just some broth? Let's do just a little bit of broth. You want to try it? Just a little broth. He still had the, well, he's going again. You want some more? I think he likes the broth. I like broth too, it's really good for you. Yummy. Yummy. What? You want some more? <laughs> he's got the tongue like. Uh-oh. You like chicken broth, don't you? Chicken, chicken broth. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna do let it. me have this. Let me do it. <laughs> what kind of face is that? Want some more? Want some more? Yeah? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think we, we have like a winner. It. There we go. So, another person benefited from stuff on the farm. Wow. <laughs> mm. A lot of people get intimidated about having babies and what they should feed their babies. Uh, it's really easy to make your own baby food at home if you're going somewhere or you know just to have around the house in case you need to feed your baby quick I mean applesauce is a big one you can make at home or you know sweet potatoes my kids always love sweet potatoes and doing making purees yourself is super easy and has way more benefits than the store-bought stuff so I highly recommend making your own if you can stay away from all the store-bought baby food. Uh, you want some more? Yeah. You want some more? You getting angry? Draw some more. See, it looks like you like it there. Stop the day. Stop there. 
I chose egg yolk as his first food because it's really nutrient dense. It has lots of protein and good fats in there and it's easier to digest uh, for babies. So that's why we started out with egg yolk. That way you get the protein to build these strong muscles up, right? <laughs> you ate the front double bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look enthused. Say I'm sleeping. <laughs> See, I'm sleepy. You ready to take a nap? See, nap time. Yeah. Ready to take yeah. A nap. And we'll try some more foods on another day. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> you telling everybody bye bye? Yeah. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm.